Hi, I'm going to present our paper on user characteristics in explainable AI, the rabbit hole of personalization, which was the work of my master's student Robert Nimmo and myself, Simone Stampf, at University of Glasgow, in collaboration with Marius Konstantinidis, Kei Xiao, and Daniela Kesia from Nokia Bell Labs in Cambridge, UK. Why were we doing this work? We have seen a rise in research that focuses on explainable AI or XAI in order to open up black box AI models and help users with understanding and appropriately trusting the decisions that an AI makes. Previous work, for example, by Esan et al, Jiang Yeal, and myself and others have provided some evidence that user characteristics might matter in system use and also explanations. And age, previous experience, gender and personality traits have been repeatedly suggested as important. Some work, for example, by Konati al, has also attempted to personalize XAI to a user based on their characteristics, following the notion that explanations should be tailored to specific user groups. So the overall aim of our study was to establish how users' characteristics are related to measures such as user engagement, perceived and actual understanding and trust when these users are exposed to explanations. We conducted an empirical user study which can be characterized in four steps. We used 149 participants with a median age of 36, of which 74 were women from Prolific. We situated our task in hate speech detection and employed the well-known and publicly available Jigsaw hate speech dataset. This contains 220,000 Wikipedia edit comments, which have been labeled by human raters for toxic behavior. We then used Detoxify, an existing multi-class classifier trained with a bird base model, and then used Lime to explain our classifier. Our participants were asked to moderate the content by checking whether a Wikipedia comment is toxic or not. The user study took roughly 30 minutes to complete. The participants completed two pre-task questionnaires. First, the 10-item personality inventory, or TP, was employed to measure each participant's big five personality traits in terms of their scale on dimensions of openness, conscientiousness, extraversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. This is a shortened personality test, which is commonly used if time is of the essence, as we would imagine it might be if we want to personalize an experience for users. We then also measured the level of experience with AI systems, machine learning and explanations using a scale of expertise developed by Macbeth. In the main task, the participants were presented with an interface in which they could check 100 comments, of which 61 were toxic. The accuracy was 98%, so pretty good, but still held some misclassifications. The explanations consisted of highlighted words in the comments, as well as a graph of the feature weights, and more information about the UI can be found in our paper. Participants were not expected to examine every comment, but rather to spend time to thoroughly think through each comment. They could confirm or relabel comments and provide feedback on feature weights, and any interactions were logged to measure the level of user engagement with the explanations. Finally, after the main task, participants were requested to fill out a post-task questionnaire to measure the participants' trust, perceived understanding and agile understanding in the form of a mental model score. So what did we find? First, we ran a linear multiple regression models using age, gender and previous experience as independent variables against each of our outcome variables. We found that none of the models fit for engagement, perceived understanding, and trust, and none of the user characteristics were significant in these models either. The only significant result we found was for actual understanding, where the linear regression model fit with a probability of 0.01, and where age significantly influenced actual understanding with a weight of minus 0.275. This means the older you are, the less your actual understanding score. We then ran more multiple linear regression models using personality traits. We also included age in this, as our initial models had shown it to matter in some cases. We again found that these user characteristics did not affect engagement, perceived understanding and trust, with the proviso that openness was significant in trust. 
And again, we found that actual understanding was implicated. Again, age mattered, but also openness. The weight of openness means that the more open your personality is, the less you score on actual understanding. Finally, we ran a final linear regression model to investigate what would happen if we simply combined all of the user characteristics. What we found did not differ much from our previous models, with the exception that perceived understanding uh, model fit was now significant with a probability of 0 0.047 and again implicating age. We confirmed all the other results. So, not much there, and also what is there is confusing. Why would age and openness matter to understanding, but nothing else? And why would understanding go down if you are a more, more open type? We believe that user characteristics are problematic and should be treated with caution. But how have we got ourselves into this state in the first place? We argue in our paper that it is very easy to fall down this rabbit hole because seeing user characteristics as the answer is incredibly tempting. Getting user characteristics is sometimes very easy, so we might as well use them. User interactions are complex, so we might look for any factors that could explain why one system was more successful than another. We might be getting a snowball effect, which means that user research in an area spawns more work in this area, with a green light given by authority figures in the field. However, our results show that we are not quite done yet. First, there are issues with repeatability. We have decided to open up our methods, interface, code and dataset, so others can validate our findings. Currently, not much research is um, too much research is not transparent enough, so the area of research is hampered as nothing can be compared. Our work also has highlighted the problems with measuring user characteristics. For example, we believe that TP has a measuring error with openness, so in fact we are not too sure what our results with regard to this personality trait showed. This means that we will need better instruments to measure user characteristics and perhaps focus on different aspects of the user, such as need for cognition. This also implies to measure, applies to measures such as trust and actual understanding. Finally, we wondered how all of this might work in practice if we want to personalize XAI for users. Building a user model only seems worth it if there is prolonged and sustained engagement with these systems. As of yet, there are not many systems like this. This leads us to the main takeaways from our paper and presentation. First, lay users are often more alike than different. Second, fine-grained user characteristics might not be useful for explaining system use. And finally, XAI designs may benefit from concentrating on more marked differences among broader stakeholder user groups. Thank you for listening and we are happy to take your questions.